CTrader plugin system is a very versatile system that allows users to extend the platform in various ways. One of these options is the ability to add custom buttons in CTrader that can execute different actions on demand. In this video, we will demonstrate how you can easily add buttons to the toolbar and display a custom form on demand using a plugin. Let's switch to the CTrader Algo app and navigate to the Plugins tab. We will create a new plugin by clicking on the New button. We will name our plugin Custom Toolbar button. We will choose the blank template and press Create. In our plugin, we will add a toolbar button that will open some positions when it is clicked. First, we will add the toolbar button. Then we will create a method that will handle the button click event and open some positions in our account. Let's build the plugin and check the new button that has been added to the toolbar. We can click on the button and see the positions opening. Now we can go back to our plugin and demonstrate how to use a custom SVG icon as an icon for our toolbar. SVG files are essentially XML files that can be used as icons for various controls. CTrader commands allow you to specify custom SVG icons and use them for your toolbars. Let's declare an SVG icon. And let's copy and paste the XML code from a custom icon we have downloaded earlier. You can easily obtain the XML code of an SVG file by opening it using Notepad. Let's see an example. Note that these files contain quotation marks that need to be replaced to apostrophes in order for the XML to be used in C-sharp code. You can easily do this by using the Replace feature of Notepad. Let's go back to CTrader and assign the icon to the toolbar. We will also add a tooltip to our button. Let's build our plugin again and see how the toolbar icon has changed. Now let's demonstrate another interesting capability of toolbar buttons. We will show how you can show pop up menus when a toolbar button is clicked. First, let's add another toolbar button. We can see that the methods handling the toolbar button click event can return command results. These command results can contain controls that will be displayed when the button is clicked. In our method, we will create a stack panel including a button and we will return it. We will create a button and assign some styles to it. We will declare a stack panel and add the button as a child. Let's build our plugin and see the menu appearing on the button click. We will go back to our source code and add an event to handle the button click event. On clicking on the menu button, all open positions will be closed.
Inside the event handler, we will write the logic to close all positions. Let's build our plugin again and test our menu button by closing the positions opened earlier. In this video we have demonstrated how to add custom buttons in CTrader's toolbar. We hope that you found this video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.